Hey, what's going on, Metal Chef Mad Max? Brothers and sisters, rock and roll. Well, uh, my apron is getting really dirty, I have to wash it. But anyway, I'm gonna make today simple mushroom steak sauce. You can use it on the chicken, pork, you know, whatever, you know, put it all over the tofu or roasted eggplant. It just a little bit. Uh, sauce I will create today, I mean I didn't create it, it's you know well known sauce uh, from French cuisine called semi demi glace and it's gonna be mushroom demi glace in my way, the metal chef Mad Max way. Okay let's go start it baby! First you put the big knife, no, no big knife. Alright, let's go start it up. Let's go get some fires burning. And meantime, for second show, I have a quart of cream. I'm gonna reduce it, but don't worry about it. That's for other episode. Slowly. And I got my trusted rondel. Okay, we're gonna warm that up a little bit. And we're gonna do it a little bit skinnier way. I'm not gonna use roux because it's butter and uh, flour. I'm gonna use some slushy made with the water and flour so it's less calories, okay? Alright, get this cool product demi glass, no monosodium. Actually, lots of companies now making really cool. Nothing said it's demi glass concentrate. They will cook down the veal bones and red wine and spices and make demi glass concentrate. I always look for one, it's got no NSG. You know, if you have a time, go ahead, roast the veal bones and uh, make the real demi glass. It's take around uh, 15 16 hours, you know, draining and stuff. So let's go do it. Let's go rock that baby up. We're gonna use just a touch of uh, real sweet cream but tear, boot tear. Not much like this, you know. You can use uh, this much uh, butter as a suppository, help you pass the, you know, shitty food I made uh, there or so before. Not the butter. And I sliced up garlic. Thinly, three cloves. The batter is melted. I'm not going to really caramelize this little munchkin. Where's all my mixing tools, man? You know, somebody must be nipping at my. Nipping on my uh, supply here. So we got the garlic going. Smells very deliciously. I need some boil water. Boil water, bring wood and oil. No, no, that was lots of the ring. Totally different story. Man, I wake up today kind of braggy. Alright, we got the. Uh, Garlic nice and then rock and rolling. I'm doing some champignon mushrooms or white mushrooms. I saute them on a hole, chill them overnight, and I slice them up so they don't need to be cooked for too long. In the meantime, start adding your flavorings. We're gonna add some crack, black, in your face, pepper. Mmm, smells already good. And I wanna add another aromatic. I ran outside, I got one sage leaf. It was covered with the bird poop. So I'm advising you wash of the bird poop of the sage leaf. No, I'm just messing. I will never use. I'll discard it. You know, if it's any cookies on it, even I'm gonna burn it. Washing. All right. Oh, uh. 
we got this going and I'm gonna use some uh, Pinot Noir and after a really nice pot that is soft up out, Pinot Noir, not really heavy. I'm gonna add a little bit of this jazz to my glass of uh, ooh, uh, Take a nice glass. Cook them down. Vaporized alcohol, it's no alcohol. couple drops of magic juice. It's muggy seasoning from Europe. I can't tell you where it's muggy. <laughs> Let's let the play around for a second. And then, you know, you read the directions, you know, how much any glass you want, but I'm not gonna make huge... Look at that, I've got stuck with the syrup tool like that I use for my appetizers because the best of the end of this was okay so the wine cook off you add your demi glaze doesn't look too pretty looks you know I'm not gonna go there but that's how it does look alright so steering your demi glass with the mushroom and yeah, reduce the heat a little bit. Like I see, you know, I have to wipe up the cookies under my finger. You know, like I told you earlier, and I told you a thousand times, don't add any salt. I didn't salt my mushrooms because you always can add it. So, you can't take it out. How the hell Michel the grinder get at the dry stuff every year? Alright, I'm looking for some flour. found some flour and I'm gonna make water and... Ooh, too much flour. Man, I bust. Ooh, shoot! Man, looks like a bunch of coke heads hanging out in this kitchen, you know, because the white powder all over the place. Apologize my friends, that's not me. I'm not the coke head. I'm not the wheat head. I'm a just a metal chef that makes it. Alright, so alcohol is vaporized. We're going to add some water. You can add kind of neutral chicken stock or beef stock if it's not too salty. Remember, Danny Gloss uh, concentrate got quite few grams of salt in it so you don't want to play around with the salt too much you always can add it it's hard to take it out all right let's go bring up this to temperature in the meantime I'll try to get whisk out of the crazy mess looks like my cream doesn't want to go yet so bring up the heat and the cream. All right, whisk it up so it's no, again, powder. So it's no clumps and a sauce so it looks nice and like glossy and delicious, okay? Now this is going good. I will show you my friends. But it's not too thick enough. You can use the roux, like I said, roux is fat and flour. Add the, lots of fat to your food, ended up on your hips and belly and whatever, you know. And especially ended up inside of the arteries and then you have a little problem. Some people said it's worth it, ah, I'm gonna find out if it's not. I'll stick around with my skinnier version. Even, you know, I'm a fat guy, but that's from eating chocolates and stuff like that, you know. Alright. So the sauce is going beautifully. We're going to pick it up. You know, I make sure it's no clumps, you know. If you don't trust yourself, eh, take the. Uh, take the, you know, uh, what's the name of this thing? Hmm, I'm getting senile, I think, you know. 
something to uh, strain the stuff up so it's no clumps, okay? Don't add too much, so do it a little bit at the time. So it's not like a pudding, because we're not making mushroom demi glass pudding, we're making mushroom demi glass sauce. So it has to be glossy and demi glassy, not puddingy. Alright. And I don't want to get, you know, really, really, you know, uh, watery too, you know, mushrooms, just two mushrooms floating around. Just have to be full of taste, flavor, and have to be nice and cool. Alright, let's go give it a try. Here we go. Not enough any glossiness. So we're gonna add a little bit more. And we're using the magic one. And meantime when I add this demi glass uh demi glass demi if we gonna talk in Francais like Mr. Escoffier told us uh Mr. Escoffier it was one of the Chefs who wrote the basics of the classic French cuisine, if you don't know my friends. And I think I'll need some more crack black, so it tastes good in this neighborhood. Am I getting some volcanoes of uh, cream going, but that's okay. <coughs> the cracky blacky went in my throat. I'm gonna just go get white powder out of here, man. I can't have this image, you know, I am cokehead. All right, looks like that's going to be almost done. I'm short on a spoon, so I'm washing one of the spoons to have a tasty. What the heck? I almost got hit with the big uh, gazer of the cream in my, whoa. That's getting dangerous area. I have to be careful. Perfect. All right. Let's go stop right now. And that's what you have, my friends. Fast and a little bit and a healthier side. Demi glass with the la champignon with the mushrooms. I'm getting the facial at the same time. Okay. Keep on watching me people, keep on rock and rolling, keep on cooking good food, I love you, rock and roll forever, and remember, we are here for a short time, but for a good time, and I love you guys, and booyah, and shake that!